Well, welcome to another glimpse of our life back in Cape Town. Part of it is vehicle maintenance, getting your food nice and clean after so long on the road. Join Fearless on four wheels as we share our passion for travel. Find us on social media and subscribe. To support us, go to patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels and get exclusive content. So something that I don't tell you is how much work it is to clean up your vehicle after 17 months. So it's been dusty and it's taken a lot of vacuuming and washing. Hard work getting all the dust off. It's gonna take more than one wash. Even earth is a bit dirty. Africa. The Africa out. Look, Africa actually looks a bit um what's the word? Faded. Faded, yeah. Africa's faded. It's time for a new continent. Today we're getting ready to go and plant a big labyrinth made of speckworm. Just grabbing some spades and a fork. For those of you that don't know what a speckworm is, it is a plant that grows easily, doesn't use a lot of water and consumes a lot of CO2. And outside Stellenbosch, about 50 k's that way, they are planting the biggest labyrinth. Well, are busy planting the biggest labyrinth in the world, all made of speckworm. So that people can enjoy it, raising some awareness, getting a lot of people to volunteer, and assisting with getting rid of some CO2. And tomorrow morning, fresh and bleary eyed, we will be taking you along. Part of Getting to know Cape Town again. Then we drove through the Cape Winelands to the venue about 15 kilometers outside Stellenbosch, close to the Elsenburg Agricultural University. Arriving at the venue, we saw the 164,000 speckworm that needs to be planted for the Great Labyrinth of Africa. The seedlings has been prepared by the people from the poor communities around Stellenbosch. This assisted in job creation and raising consciousness about climate change. We attended a short briefing on the process to follow and then got ourselves organized. Then we loaded the food with 30 speckworm and filled up the water tank to start on the outer ring of the labyrinth. It was blistering hot in the summer sun, especially when digging into the hard ground. Okay. So what can you tell me about a speckworm, honey? Um. A speckworm um, uses a little bit of water. It uses on average to between 250 and 350 millimeters of water a year. Um, it, you can plant it anywhere from semi-arid to um, tropical areas. Um, it, it takes a lot to die um, and it's very easy to grow and it is very carbon dioxide um, absorbent. Yeah, so we're going to build this maze here. It's very hot and um, oh another fact apparently you can eat it but it's not that nice apparently have like you tasted it no can i have a taste how does it taste delicate yeah slightly citrus yeah that's maybe good. like a, a, a lemon leaf okay yeah. or a bay leaf that's quite amazing by the end of the day, the outer ring was finished. The work we did assisted in offsetting our carbon emissions on the 55,000 kilometers we traveled on our African safari. After planting the trees, we used Ufudu's internal water tank okay. to water the new plantings. We needed to plant 25 trees for the distance that we traveled and 12 trees for every year that we have lived. We will definitely go back to assist with more planting effort and we will show you the progress later on in the year. Please come back for our next episode. Thank you for joining our adventure. Remember to hit the bell icon and the subscribe button. Get exclusive content and see our videos first by going to patreon.com forward slash 
fearless on four wheels.